Hello, my name is Rich Stalls. Today I want to talk to you about a Unity 3D SCORM integration kit. Now this one will allow you to integrate your Unity 3D projects using SCORM and load them into a learning management system, something like Blackboard or Moodle, and allow students and learners to interact with it and record it into the, the Grade Center there. So today I am beginning with getting started using the SCORM integration kit. Today I'm going to cover three main areas. I'm going to show you where to download the Unity SCORM integration kit. Then I am going to run through how you can import that integration kit into a project of yours. And I'll do a quick overview of the project assets that get put into the project when you load the integration kit. So first of all, you have to get started here at the GitHub. The address is there on the screen. And what you need to do there is get a hold of the, the web page, the GitHub page there for the, um, the Unity SCORM integration kit. Scroll down here. There's a whole bunch of stuff in the uh, GitHub page, but the thing you want is the Unity SCORM integration kit dash WebGL. This is the new version where Unity 3D now exports using WebGL, not the, the uh, old web player, which this old package here is used. So use this one here, click on it, download it. Click in the download button. And you will have your Unity kit here in your downloads. Okay, now that you've downloaded your Unity SCORM integration kit, let's go ahead and look at how you might import that into your Unity 3D project. So we'll go ahead and load up the Unity Hub. Get rid of that, we don't need that anymore. And let's go ahead. You know, you could open up an existing project, which you may want to do if you're integrating, but for the tutorial, we'll create a brand new project here. So we'll call this one tutorial project, and we'll save it into a into my Unity Projects folder. We'll give it a, a 3D as a base template. Let's create the project now. Okay, now that we've got our brand new project open, now this would be your project you're integrating with. You can see in this instance, it's just a, a sample empty scene um, with uh, very little in, in, in the way of project assets. Now, we want to import that Unity SCORM integration Pro, um, uh, package into this project. So we go into assets and we import package custom package. We click on that and we have to use our file system dialog to find what we're looking for there. Um, sort by date modified and I believe that's probably it. There we go. Um, that's the integration package. We'll select that. And it will prepare and decompress and come up with uh, the list of items that are in the package. I suggest you go ahead and import the entire thing as is. Click the import button. And you can see here now it's finished importing. So now it's finished importing. Let's look at what the assets that the package puts in. Okay, so you can see I've zoomed here on the project and assets. And so you can see there's a few folders here. We'll just go from the top down to the bottom so you can see what is involved in this, um, uh, this package. There's a plugins folder, which has a, um, a SCORM JS lib. Um, when we get into the more advanced side of things, you will see what this is used for. It's basically used to communicate from your application into the JavaScript wrapper for the SCORM project. 
there's the sample scene from this particular example uh, tutorial project. This would be possibly some of your own scenes. Now you see there's a new SCORM folder. It has a bunch of um, subfolders there. Much of it like the images, the prefabs, the scenes, and the scripts in particular all have to do with a demonstration app that is included as part of this, which a later tutorial will go through. Uh, there is an editor folder which has the editor script, which you'll, you'll see later at the top of the page, it, there's a new menu item as a result of this SCORM export editor script. The plugins folder under SCORM is to do with helping package up your uh, exported projects as a SCORM compliant project. As you can see here in the 2004 folder, there's all of the files and um, folders that are needed for your project to be considered a compliant SCORM package. And this little guy here, just the iconic zip um, reduced DLL just allows the uh, the plugin to zip up your project. Finally, yes, there's a SCORM manager um, resource which is used to integrate your project into SCORM. So the final extra folder here is the WebGL templates. Now, this, this creates a, a new template when you're using the WebGL projects to export as a target export for your, your project, which I'll show you um, in just a moment. So let's look here. WebGL templates, you'll get a new SCORM template with an index file, some data and um, thumbnails. Let's just have a look at the template data. You can see there's a whole bunch of stuff that's needed for the, um, the export. So what this does is when you publish or export using the SCORM WebGL template. It gives you the um, all the files that are needed so that you can create a SCORM ready project. So here we are zoomed out again. I wanted to show you, so the, the SCORM editor, the, the SCORM export editor uh, script gives you a new set of functions here that create a bunch of menus that will help you when it comes time to uh, finally format your export as a SCORM ready uh, application. There's some help which sends you to the documentation um, landing page. There's a, there's a bunch of information there. Uh, some of it's a little bit out of date, but the guides and um, especially the link to the documentation is, is uh, probably of interest to you. Um, we'll look at that in a later uh, tutorial as well. There's also a little about, as you can see here, this actually started as a US Department of Defense Advanced Distributed Learning Initiative. They released it as a open source project and I built on it to become something that's that's useful for the newer versions of Unity 3D. Um, I also said, uh, talked about these WebGL templates. Now, when you go ahead and go to your build settings, you want to change it to a WebGL project. So we can switch the platform, which might need to recompile and re-import some assets. You can see here it's finished now, and we will go to player settings. I'll just move that to the middle, expand it a little bit there. Okay, so in the player settings, there's a you can see there's a new WebGL template. So what you want to do is go ahead and select the SCORM template, which will, when you go ahead and uh, build it, it will give you the, uh, the files and JavaScript wrapper that is required for it to become a SCORM-ready object. 
So that gives you a brief overview of um, getting everything up and running within your system there. I hope this has been useful. Please have a read in the description in the, the, uh, below the video here and you'll see some links to further videos and other information. Um, I'll look forward to seeing you next time.